What's up guys, this is Gold Medal Arab and we're bringing you a little inside look of Gold Medal Duck's gun. Magpul Masada SV and uh, we're going over the shooting range, accuracy, trigger response, rate of fire, uh, interchangeable parts, and uh, anything else that would be of in interest. Alright, well, now a lot of you people have been questioning this gun because it's the SV which is the cheaper version of a Masada. Well, just to let you know, this has the same exact internals as the Beta Project Masada, so you're not getting anything less, you're still getting the same high quality internals that you would get in a Masada, but it's a lot cheaper. Now what makes this gun cheaper is nothing internally and externally, I mean as you can see, they do not this gun does not come with fire sights, that's what brought down the price. Um, it comes with a 75 round PMAG, um, because of a black one, I just had a tan one, so I just used it for this video. Um, also, what they did was the polymer that they used for the stock, lower receiver and handguard is a little less dense than the um, one on the, the Beta Project Masada, but I mean, upper receiver is full metal. You have a fully functioning charging handle, which is full metal. So this is compatible with the gas blowback conversion kit for this. Um, internally, like I said, it has the same gearbox as the Mipo PTS Masada. Um, it also has your um, quick change spring system. I'll go over that later on in the video. Along with a quick change out, um, complete barrel system. I'll go over that later too. Now, this gun new starts off shooting roughly around 375 to 380, so it's not exactly going to be an ideal CQB gun. But luckily, with this quick change spring system, you can swap in a spring just like that. And it has the instructions in the manual, and I will also go over that later in this video. Um, now, it also has a very good trigger response. Now, I say very good, I mean extremely well for a gun like on 9.6. Now my motor isn't, I've been mean, adjusting it lately, so it's not exactly, well I should say, firing at its best it could. Um, shoots roughly around, let's say, 20, 22 rounds a second stock with a 9.6. I have a 1600 amp battery in here. Um, very accurate for a stock inner barrel. Um, of course in mine, I have an Angel Custom 6.01 type bore, um, and I also have a Matrix M90 spring in this. Um, now, as you can see, mine does not look like it comes stock if anyone has seen it on a website. Um, I have, well, what comes with the gun is a black full metal M4 flash arch to get rid of that ugly orange one, which is a nice feature, which I like, because I hated the orange one. Um, and what I put onto it, like I said, I put the Angel Custom 6.01 Type Bore, I put the um, Matrix M90 spring into this, um, I have a B2 by Bravo holographic sight long body with an EOTech lunch protector on it. That way you don't have to worry about getting shot or blown out. Um, I have a GNP battery box. It's not a pec, pec box, but it's a battery box that I got from Gold Metal Dino. And I took my brother's UTG laser, took this apart, and wired it up. So I have a functioning laser. Um, I have a GNP Matrix 250 lumen flashlight, which is very bright wired to a pressure switch, which you can buy separately. Um, I have a set of Magpul MOE rails and an AFG angled grip. And I also run PMAGs in this, which fit beautiful in this. And if you haven't noticed, um, it has the four pins for your upper and lower receiver and your upper, upper and lower receiver again, and then the handguard. Now in the handguard, you can see there's a rusty flathead screw there. Um, well, one problem with this is if you can see in here, these little rivets, there are almost bobby pin type clips that go in that hold these pins in. And I lost mine, and in the middle of a game my pin fell out and I lost it. So I threaded it and put that in. Uh, what can you say about the stock on this gun? Um, love this stock. It is extremely comfortable, has about a quarter of an inch of foam padding into it. Um, <laughs> has an adjustable cheek riser which is comfortable for shooting. Is it foldable as well? Uh, this one is not foldable. Um, the, the, that's one thing that I mean, the price 
go back on was using this. So I can set up the folding one and adjustable. You can buy that separately along, you can buy it with an RIS for this too. Um, and another thing, key feature for anybody that you know plays more tactically, I should say in airsoft, is switching from left to right. Um, this gun has indexers everything. Your selector switch is on both sides, your mag release is on both sides, and it functions too. Um, your bolt, um, char charging handle I should say, is on left side when, it, when you get the gun, but it can be switched to the other side by taking off this little pin, I think it is, and putting it on this side. And then your bolt release is right at the bottom of the magwell on both sides too, which is just like what you would use if you were using a gas blowback. And also, that's how you access your hop up right here. Now, um, people were saying, oh, well, this is made in China and it's cheaper and it's crap. It's not. I'm telling you, for 340 bucks on Air, um, e bike and 330 on GI, it's definitely worth the money. Um, now, if you are a, a shorter person with a shorter arm length, mine have about a six foot arm length. Um, so this gun fits me comfortably for arm length. This is what I use for indoor, but I can switch out my spring and use it for outdoor. It's a little bit longer than your standard MOE carbine, such as you know, like a regular combat machine, but this handguard is longer than it, so you a little bit longer, so you have less barrel and more handguard. So it makes the gun look overall bigger. Um, but definitely, if you are going to put any types of grips on these, definitely advise putting something like a um, like an AFG angle grip, just because the weight of the gun, your battery being up here, and the length of it for stability. I definitely. Um, definitely advise getting something like that. And like I was saying before, the size comparison between an MOE carbine, this is math GNP, compared to my Masada, the handguard is definitely longer. You start at the same point, line goes out about four inches, but your barrel length is still the same. And with this gun, the fact that it goes out so much more, you definitely need to grab it out there for stability. If you're swinging around, you definitely need it. This gun weighing roughly, mine roughly weighing between 12-15 pounds. So recommending either investing in a foregrip or angle foregrip would be yes, a that, good choice. And if you do not have a farther out on the bear, red dot sight, definitely get a, a pair of iron sights for this because otherwise you have no optics. And it also, forgot to mention, has a QD sling point here, sling, sling point here and here. And this one is ambidextrous. There are two screws right here that you can take out and take this plate, put it to the other side and put the screws in from this side. So if you're lefty, you can run it lefty with this sling point here or righty, so you can run it like that. 